prolonged lockdown, basically, is slavery. Do you, uh, do you feel enslaved? Uh, I do. I'm a type A lawyer, and I am bouncing off the walls of my living room because I can't go out. Freedom! 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 Good American a born free American! They're lying about the death tolls. I will take a chance to get a coronavirus whether the, better than shutting down this economy. I die on my feet, not on my knees. Yeah, I want you to take the vaccine first, Bill Gates. <laughs> we don't have a civil right to be immortal. If only the healthy people are okay, and the people who are at risk get ill, isn't that how it's supposed to be? I'm immune compromised. I put that at risk today. Are you scared to die? No more scared than I am for anything else. The reality is we are just a few weeks away, not months away, from making measurable and meaningful changes to our stay-at-home order. That is a very optimistic point to emphasize. However, that's driven by data. It's driven by behavior. And as we change our behavior, we can impact the science, the health, and the data. This virus doesn't take the weekends off. This virus doesn't go home. Uh, because it's a beautiful sunny day uh, around our coasts. There's not enough police to stop this. That's why everybody, 60,000 people went to the beach yesterday. You can't stop this. You are a minority. God bless America. God bless the USA. Trump 2020, we love you, Trump. Woo! California for Trump. COVID-19 is nothing more than a common cold. Everybody better watch out. Don't take your vaccine. Don't take nothing. Governor Cooper, let my barber go! I used to teach my kids to respect the police, to respect you guys, to respect first responders. Not anymore, because the only response you have is to your paychecks. I am afraid of reopening right now. Let us work! Let us work! my patients, I'm here to represent my fellow healthcare workers, and I'm here to represent the rest of North Carolina. I just still feel like it's important for us to continue to shelter in place and practice social distancing because our lives depend on it. Cooper's gotta go! Cooper's gotta go! Cooper's gotta go! Cooper's gotta go! I came out here today to send a very clear message to the legislators that we do not need to reopen NC. We need to keep NC closed and we need to continue to flatten the curve. We aren't through it yet. If we were to reopen now, we would see 
a resurgence, it would overwhelm the healthcare system, and it would put the vulnerable in our communities at risk. Concerned though that people coming out in protest are going to spread uh, COVID to other people. They're congregating in ways that health experts have said they should not. No, these are people expressing their views. I, I see where they are and I see the way they're working. They seem to be very responsible people to me. Reopening prematurely puts a lot of people at risk. It puts our immunocompromised members of our communities at risk, it puts um, their families at risk, it puts our health care workers at risk, and really it puts um, all of North Carolina at risk. My daughter is an RN, a real hey, girl, take 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 school, and yeah. she got her own degree. Are you guys RNs? Do you have a degree? Why aren't you in the hospital? You're overrun. We can't find people to help. Why are you even here? Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I will pay for your soul and yours and yours to you. Shameful. Liars. Shameful. Disgusting.